Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Matt with Green Bar Trading. And this video is going to be super helpful if you tend to over trade and trade with those emotions. Um, we all do anyway. But trading in a community is so important and it helps out so much. So, um, you know, you are accountable for your actions when you're in communities like this. So I'm writing um, that I feel like I'm getting reckless, talk me out of continuing, and Eric writes, stop now. So, you know, I was just joking here, um, but I did end up stopping my trading. And I think that's super important because what happened today was I was up about 165, 175 at the highs. And then this got me right here. So I'm watching the Russell. I'm also watching the SPY. These markets look exactly alike. Um, I got the one minute up here. I got the five minute down here. Looking at this chart, the SPY, and if we can just back it up from yesterday, we have a downtrend resistance um, trend line here. Right here at about 1350, so about 150, I decide to get short this up here. So that was coming into multiple confluences with VWAP. You can see here at 1350, and this is what tricked me. Now, you can have great trade plans. And this was actually, um, you know, multiple confluences to get me into this trade right here. It's a rejection at VWAP. It was a rejection here on this five minute candle of the trend line. And I went short and got stopped out. And then we broke over this key level that was resistance and ended up giving back a lot of my gains um, only to get most of that back by trading this area here. So seeing this on the five minute, the SPY went from 37, uh, I'm sorry, 378.44 in five minutes, went down over a dollar. So while we saw those great moves up, we saw some weakness as well. So I got in for some of that weakness and took a little bit of the profit there. But the point of the video is I started to get reckless. I started to overtrade 100%, um, started to overtrade, was not happy that I gave back my 175 that I was up on very minimal mental capital. And what did I do? I spent way too much mental capital giving it back and then trying to get it back again. So like I said, trading in a community, huge. Um, I should not have continued. Once the SPY broke out of this trend line, I still was shorting. Why was I still shorting when it just broke the trend line? Why was I still shorting when it broke VWAP? Because that 1700 level was coming in here and the double top that would have been right here was coming in here. Um, but I should have just listened to, I should have listened to myself and been happy with what I got. I don't think that these trades were bad though. I thought, I think that they were well thought out. It's just, there was a lot of momentum going at the time. I mean, you can see here, we came from, you know, way down um, to rallying up. So not every trade is going to work out like you want, but you need to know when to take the hands off the wheel. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, you know, up 105, but not happy about this performance today. And that's it. Just quick recap on how I did today. Started to overtrade, went into my community, got talked out of it, um, joked around a little bit about it. Trading's tough. Um, you need to know when to like lighten the mood.
So that's me lightening the mood right now. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the thumbs up and I'll see you back on the next one. Take care, guys.